Wang Jr. Four wins out of four, and we followed him here this evening as well. Up against Terry Carruthers from Birmingham tonight, Eubank two inches taller, their weights are virtually identical. Carruthers an even record, 1-11, lost 11, and drawn six. So over once again to your MC then, Thomas Triber. for fights he has faced a very experienced tough level of fighter for somebody that's just starting and somebody that only has 26 amateur fights and Carruthers fits in with that he's got a lot of experience um, and uh, not an easy guy to face at the beginning of your career so Chris Eubank Jr. trying to make a real impact here against Terry Carruthers Carruthers Working on a Saturday night, he normally works Saturday nights at Dorman at the Cross Pub in Mosley near Birmingham, where he comes from. They'll all be cheering him on there. Works at the door, and uh, you know that that place is going to be buzzing tonight for him. Absolutely. Telly on, watching that man. But he's got quite a task on his hands tonight. Left hook there from Eubank, but a little bit of joy for Carruthers as well. Carruthers trying to make Eubank come to him. He clearly wants that to happen, not just attacking wildly. Eubanks has a very good jab. He's a great combination puncher. If there is a criticism of him, it has been that sometimes he's wild with his punches. But tonight, you can see he's very measured in what he's doing. Good right by yeah, Carruthers. Looking for the upset. Carruthers moving forward again. Again behind that jab, and there's plenty of intent and aggression. But back comes Eubank. Just sense that they're painful shots. He's an excellent body puncher as well, as we saw right there. Ronnie Dave Davies, of course, the trainer who trained his dad during his long and illustrious career. Yeah, and there are those who say that Ronnie Davis has spoken about Eubank Jr. having more talent than Eubank Sr. Good pressure, really good uppercut, and an excellent body shot from Eubank Jr. And that demonstrated both the good and bad of Eubank uh, Jr. as a pro. He did terrific body punching and combination punches, then kind of stood there and admired it and got hit with a, com with a counter punch by Carruthers. Well, Carruthers can be proud of the way he's acquitted himself so far. He's had a few good moments in this round, but he's on the ropes. You bank to his own for you bank. When you bank a trap against the ropes you see the variety of punches from Chris Eubank using uppercuts body punches but there there was the counter punching momentarily from Carruthers as Chris Eubank kind of stood back and admired what he did Carruthers landed a right hand. I don't know that it hurt Eubank Jr., but it, it got there nonetheless. Carruthers does have a cut above the right eye, maybe just to the side of it. They're working on it very, very hard in the corner. 
And Eubank, of course, will have seen it. With the left hand there, a body shot for him. Eubank Jr., they both come to fight, haven't they? Chris Eubank Jr. is a terrific body puncher. Well, they criticize him for being a little wild, but he's finding the target plenty tonight. Well, he's an exciting fighter. He's going to be in many exciting fights. Probably more exciting than his camp would want them to be. But that's just who he is. I don't know. He is kind of a boxer puncher, but really he's more of a puncher. He's a stalker and a puncher. But they're looking at Lowe's hands. Uh, they want to look at that cut. Is he taking a point away from Carruthers? That was hard to figure out. I'm not sure what Grant Wallace did there. A big right there from Eubank Jr. Carruthers is angry and he's coming forward. He is so game, Terry Carruthers. He's mad at Grant Wallace too. I think Wallace may have taken a point away and Carruthers was complaining about it when it happened. Junior knows he's in a fight here. They do not match him easy. No, never. And he and, and that's to his credit and his team's credit. And ultimately will make him a, a good fighter. But you hope he gets through on from his standpoint, he gets through on scale. And Carlos is calling you that junior forward and he responds and counter punching there from Carruthers. Blood pouring out of that cut now on the right eye of Terry Carruthers, but it's not fitting into his eye crucially. Carruthers kind of way, wailing in with that left hook, leaping in. He's a tough guy. And all the people that Eubank has fought so far in his pro career have been tough guys that came to fight. And just unleashing the right there, Eubank Jr. Little uppercut from Carruthers. He is not going to move backwards here, Carruthers. Carruthers not able to land the jab. And of course, the hand speed edge goes to Eubank uh, Jr. in this fight. There's no question about that. It's so another excellent round between these two. Look how low Eubank Jr.'s hands are. Boy, that's very low. Well, that's good stuff. It's really entertaining stuff. Now, let's take a look at where that cut happen the left hand there from Eubank Jr. Good body work by Eubank Jr. and also that, that uppercut on the inside. Bring was him effective. up the middle because he's ducking low. Hit yeah. him in the chest, he'll go yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Tez, keep yeah, all yeah. the good stuff going, all the feints, all the fast hands, all the side steps, lose the ropes, okay? Yeah. If you're on the ropes, you must get off them. Yeah. He's, he's only seen your arms, but the yeah. best one scored that. Yeah. I want to see them fast hands. Yeah, but you know what? He's flustered when you're throwing him. Yeah. Keep him flustered. You don't step like off. Yeah. Keep him flustered and step off. Don't stay there too long because it's allowing him to get a hook in. Yeah. Corners. 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 Corners.
Chelsea for the uppercut again there. Chris Dubek Jr. Moved right to the body. Moved upstairs from the right to the head. That was good. Combination punching from Chris Dubek Jr. Chris Eubank Jr. is a fan-friendly fighter. Make no mistake about that. He engages, and because of his hell-bent for leather style, creates opportunities for his opponents. Then they trade. Good body work by Eubank. It's an interesting career arc, isn't it? That of Chris Eubank Jr. As you say, an entertainer, non-stop action. There's no sense that he has been gently guided into this sport professionally. He's fought men with much more experience than him. Paul Allison was undefeated. Uh, Harry Matthews had been a tough guy that had fought higher level fighters. Good right by Carruthers. Yeah, coming forward again, Carruthers, sensing he's getting a little bit of joy as well. You mentioned it. Carruthers does not need to be ashamed of this performance at all. But granted, he's the most experienced fighter, but still he's in there against a, what we know is a gifted athlete. Good body work again. He doesn't want to spend too much time against the ropes, Carruthers, and manages to maneuver himself off them. Record of 11 wins, 11 defeats, and rather strangely, six draws coming into this. Keeps swinging, Carruthers, as indeed does Eubank Jr. Well, they want to work on that cut. We can hear now from Chris Eubank Sr. what he thinks of it so far. He's with our man Joe Tidy. Chris, yeah. Chris, you promised us a fierce start from your son, didn't you? But there's a real battle going on here, isn't there? Well, listen, let me tell you what, this Terry Carruthers has... I'm, I'm shocked, stunned and amazed that he is tough, he's bleeding, he's pulling Christopher on, he's hitting him with shots. Christopher has his work cut out tonight. This guy has come like a locked wire. This is the best fight I've seen for, well, well for a few months. Yeah. Really so it's is. fair to say it's, you weren't expecting this? No, I, I was not, no. This opponent has really come switched on and... Um, senior yeah well did, let me tell you this is a superb fight and and he is 100 percent right in his assessment of it it's one of the most entertaining we've seen in a while as well Carruthers keeps coming at the start of this fourth round by the way we keep talking about him as if Nothing to be ashamed of, etc., etc. He'll be still thinking about the win. Yeah, no, I mean, he's trying very hard in this fight. You know, Eubank Jr. has probably won these rounds because he has landed more effective punches. I'm sure he has. But Carruthers has had his moments. And I thought Chris Eubank Sr. was very, uh, you know, objective in the way he looked at this fight, understanding that his son is in a battle with Carruthers. And the body punching of Chris Eubank Jr. has been superb in this fight. When you're in a sixth rounder, it, 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 you know, it won't necessarily win you a fight unless you get a knockout with it. But in, when he goes on and fights 10, 12 rounders, that body work's going to be important. Yeah. And he really is working to the body. And he's avoiding those counter punches now of Carruthers a little better than he was earlier. Carruthers was trying to, trying to counter him off the ropes. And... Uh, Eubank is, is doing a little better now, avoiding those shots. Well, Chris Eubank Sr. praising Al, and Al praising Chris Eubank Sr. back. <laughs> Phil Simon getting in the way of something here. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Carruthers is getting in the way of uh, Eubank Jr.'s punches, but it is not setting him on the back foot. You know, the, the jab of, uh, uh, of Eubank Jr. has not been there tonight as well as we've seen it in other occasions. But, boy, he is ripping those body shots. Surely those body shots have got to be having an effect here. 
Chris trained at the gym of Floyd Mayweather Sr. in Las Vegas early in his career, fought as an amateur in the United States, and everyone there, I know, I live in that city, I heard them talk about him. They were very impressed with him as a young fighter. And he still has problems to solve here tonight, regardless yes. of the famous names that he's got and the ones that he's mixed with. None of those can help you when you're in the center of the ring. It's not like Terry Carruthers. Yeah, a fella you might not have heard of before tonight called Carruthers is giving him a heck of a fight here. And really, be a little unwieldy at times, might be lunging at times, but he has the heart of a lion. Well, then, to me, this is what, boxing, what makes boxing great. Oh, body work from you, Ben Junior. Carruthers keeps firing back. Another high action round, a little bit of nonsense between them at the end. It's that kind of competitive fight. Well, that's the end of the round where uh, a little shoulder bump by uh, Eubanks. I guess he was Eubank Jr. because he wasn't happy about the holding. You can do that in MMA. Stay with the jab and sing them body shots. That's all you've got to do. The rest is going to come off that. Don't get involved in any silly brawl. Keep your head calm. Don't get involved in any silly Ultimate round between Chris Eubank Jr. and Terry Carruthers here. But just a little bit of water you can see being cleared away. Now we're back underway. A brief pause in this all action fight. And you know, Al, that the critics of Eubank Jr. will not have been silenced by this performance so far. Well, I think, it, you know, we've seen from him what is both exciting and admirable and the thing that makes probably his guys nervous. Look at this. He's an all-action fighter. Great body shots, ripping shots, but he leaves himself open for punches. And here comes Carruthers was fighting back off the ropes again there. You will not see a dull fight with either of these fellas in it. There is something that, at the end of the day, they're going to have to think about for Chris Eubank Jr. is he's not a huge knockout puncher. And so, as a result of that, if he's going to be in these brawls, if he's going to be in these action fights, they're going to have to think about making him a little bit more of a boxer puncher than just a puncher. He has a skill set to do it. There's no question about that. And I think the one missing ingredient might be more jabs from him. But, man, he's fun to watch, isn't he? Oh, he's fantastic. And on this particular night, they both are. Yes. Well, every proponent he's faced has come to win, and, and they've put him in against experienced fighters. We've made that point, but it's really true, and it's not always true with young fighters, that, especially young fighters that have a famous name and that people expect to do well. Yeah, you can't really overemphasize the pressure on Chris Eubank Jr. Carruthers has slowed a bit. You know, he's not throwing quite as many punches. There he comes, though. Still doing his best, but he, he, he's, his pace has slowed a bit over the last few rounds. And... Yeah, Eubank Jr. certainly looks the sharper now, doing the better work, the more accurate work. It's just willpower that's keeping Terry Carruthers going here. Chris Eubank Jr. is one of the best young body punchers in the sport. He gets leverage on those punches, and he throws combinations to the body, so that's, that'll carry a long way in this sport. Carruthers now just, I think, holding a bit. The pace has, I think, gotten to him a bit in this fight. He's taken a lot of punishment. But he's still coming. We'll be it more ragged. We'll be it looking for that miracle knockout punch. Still hoping, still trying. 
This is where, toward the end of the round there, Chris Eubank just attacking wildly, but not so wildly. He's throwing good body punches, and then trying to fight off the ropes is Terry Carruthers, and it created a lot of excitement at the end of that round. Carruthers just not able to land his shots effectively. Now listen to me, Tess. One round of Sixth and final round, and I hope these two get the ovation they deserve at the end of the night. Excellent fight. High drama, all energy, all action. They feel in Carruthers' corner that he might be still in the hunt for a decision. I'm not sure if that's the case, but, but certainly he may have snuck a round or two in earlier, possibly, maybe one. I don't think much more than that. But certainly all those rounds were fun and competitive to watch. That's the first body work we've seen from Carruthers for a while. Carruthers lunging forward with the jab there. Going right until the end here, Terry Carruthers. Tell you what, they can be proud of him down at the cross in Mosley. They can be proud of him at the small Heath ABC. He has not let anyone down on his big night on the telly. I hope Still, he's in there with a puncher's chance. I hope there are a few free drinks for him at the cross. For a while. <laughs> Shouldn't have to buy one for the rest of the year, that's I, for sure. I agree. Straight left there from Eubank Jr. Carruthers does look tired. What would your assessment of this performance be then from Eubank Jr.? Well, it is what we've seen from him before. And it's now here he's in a mode where he's going to box more. And he's trying to box more. Um, it's not his normal state of affairs. But at this juncture, I think you have to say that Chris Eubank gave us yet another exciting performance. And that's the key word. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with box office. Right to the body and then to the head from Eubank Jr. Trying to go for the big finish as we approach the final 30 seconds. Great response again wow. from Carruthers. Oh, he's landing a couple of big shots here at the end of this fight. Carruthers got him maybe his best punches of the fight in that last 20 second sequence. A fight to remember and two performances to remember here from these fellas. Eubank Jr. with the more skill but Terry Carruthers with toughness and grit. Final seconds. Well, we'll leave it to the crowd to give them the cheer they deserve and they're on their feet. Eubank Jr. gets the decision.
and still undefeated, Chris Ukraine Jr. But he knew he'd been in a fight, didn't he, Al? Boy. What about Eubank's performance this evening? He you was know, pushed hard. Yes, he was. You know, I think what differentiates uh, us watching Chris Eubank Jr. from what often happens when you broadcast a young fighter that is expected to be a star in his early fights, often those fights are not competitive. Every one of his fights, because of the way his match, have been fun and competitive, and that, I think, is exciting. Terrific. And afterwards, Joe Tidy caught up with the Eubank team backstage. It's once again never a dull moment. That was a battle in there, wasn't it? Tough kid, tough kid, and uh, a perfect opportunity to, to show my skills, show my uh, the, you know the positive side of my boxing skills, and I uh, had fun. And Ronnie, were you expecting? Did you know? Did he train for a fight like that? Yeah, yeah, I knew he'd be, he trains hard. He, he trains like a world champion every fight, he has not anyway. But I knew this kid was strong. I knew he was hard. And that's it. He'd done the business. He'd done the job. He never really got caught. The kid was there all the time. Very, very tough opponent. You know, I was proud of the other kid as well. Good luck with him. Fair to say, though. I mean, it was a bit of a shock, wasn't it? Just how, just how hard he fought. Well, not to me, it wasn't. I told his father. He said, I want him tested. I said, well, he will be in this one. I do my homework on these boys. I know them. I, know, I find other managers. I find other boys. I know, I know what I'm doing. I've been in the game long enough. And I always run it through with Chris as well. And he said, right, that's it. It's a hard opponent. We knew it was going to be. And he's done the business. What more can the kid do, you know? Quite a fight then, Chris. You must be pleased with that. Nice show, wasn't it? Well, you see, I mean, putting aside uh, the relationship, the fight itself was, uh, well, I very rarely stand up and clap. I mean, I was looking at the camera saying, wow, I mean, can you believe this? A, a, a live wire. So uh, really fantastic entertainment for the public. It must be because I was entertained. And, um, you know, and on we go. Channel 5 is the place in which to watch boxing. And uh, he's... Uh, He's a live wire. He's bringing it to the, um, to the, to the masses. Great. Well, congratulations. Well done. It really was a very, very good fight. And coming up, a European bantamweight title.